Hello, 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 hello. Today, an absolutely, totally trivial problem. Any high school student who has had a small amount of physics, electricity, should be able to do this problem without any difficulty. So I expect 90% of the answers will be correct. So why do I do this problem? The reason is that the next one is much more difficult but is related. In other words, if you cannot do this one, don't even think about the next one. However, if you use the solutions of this one, which you will get before the next one, you may be able to do the next one. So in a way, I am giving you this problem to help you. For those of you who cannot do this problem, that's fine. Watch the solutions and then give the next problem a try. Okay, so there we go. Here is a circular ring, radius r. The ring is a conductor. The thickness of the ring can be completely ignored because it is much, much smaller than the radius r. The center of this ring I call C. Here is a line perpendicular to the surface through the circle and I call that the Y direction. So for simplicity I call the center of the circle Y equals zero and C indicates center. I put a charge Q of two micro coulomb, this C is coulombs, don't confuse it with the center, I put a charge of plus two micro coulomb on the conductor and since it is a conductor it will automatically uniformly distribute itself around the circle. Now, the radius is half a meter. There is a point P here on this line, which is perpendicular to the surface and going through the center. This point P to C, that distance, is 0.8 meters. The question now is, what is the electric field, direction and strength, because electric field is a vector. So I want to know both the direction and the strength at this point C, and I want it also at this point P, direction and magnitude. My advice to you is to solve the problem first in terms of Y, Q, and R. So then you get a result for this point, which is Y is zero, and you get the result for this point, which Y is 0.8 meters, with this R and with this Q. And those are the numerical answers that I want to see. The only reason why I give you numbers is that the only way I can check whether your answer is correct. I can't look at your math, that is too complicated. It can be written in too many different forms. But if you substitute the answers in there, you get a unique answer. And I would say it's enough if you give me a three digit precision, that would be fine. Okay, so the magnitude of the E vector here and the direction 
and the magnitude of the e-vector at point P and the direction. Okay? Yes, I agree. It is totally trivial. But, for those of you who cannot do this, watch my solution and that may allow you to do the next problem, which is substantially more difficult but related. Have a nice day, take care, and for sure all of you want to be friends with me because I expect 90% of the answers to be